done the decorations first. Oh, you got first day done decorations. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. I would, but I'm not allowed to. You wouldn't know, but we know you're not Lashma because if you took down the, the, the decorations, you'd probably ruin them and you know it's going to cost you next year. So you're doing it for yourself that you... Uh, shirts black, like shirts. Right? I don't know. I'm doing it because I want supper tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, that's also, that's also awesome. for your stuff. You're, you're, it's, uh, by the way, you were just Muhammad to a Gemara in tonight's stuff. You know that. Your mom is just now. I Muhammad. didn't know it. Okay, well, you're going to find out. Your mom is just hit it on the head, an exact Gemara from tonight. Anyways, okay, so Chazar from yesterday, Abyssal, two days ago. By the way, we had a major, a major Tchum Shaila. I'm not going to say who it is or what it was. A major Tchum Shaila right before Shabbos. Right before Yom Tif, where a couple Let's of people just got... say that person didn't have enough time to upload for the top. Yeah. By the yeah. way, I was walking home now after Mincha by you, and uh, some uh, Dachei Bach, my, one of my nephews came over to him and goes, that the same person that had the same thing with all the, you know, they knew it's going to stories around already. All the Bach know it. <laughs> Anyways, they got stuck on the road on the Palisades at Shkia. Okay, so they couldn't make it to the yeshiva. Why? I don't know. They could have made it to the yeshiva. Whoever was directing them, whatever. Anyways, but kids are my, so they made it to Passaic with a Goyesha driver right by Tzais, which means since they went out of their Tchum, they're stuck. They're stuck in the four Amas, right? So they were stuck in the house that they went to, um, Whatever, at least till second day. Second day, you become mutter because mamanushah. Either one day is yom and the other day is not, right? So, uh, but whatever. It was mamish, mamish etchum, mamish etchum shayla. Crazy, mamish crazy. Anyway. So they spent Shabbos in their house like, everybody, like, like a lot of other people. Correct, correct. Essentially, they could have stayed here. You're right. <laughs> except, except their I'm host just... went and got a safe attire and brought a minion for them to daven with the minion in the house. That's pretty good. Yeah. I don't know. If it was me, I would have made them take a hotel had they been running that late. But hey, whatever. Um, yeah. So anyway, so Taf Samach, what we just started with uh, with Schirus Rishos. That's the name of it. Right? That when you're not, we said on Friday, that you're not allowed to have a guy in your Eruv. Not because it has anything to do with Eruv. And a guy could be in your Eruv. But they made a Takana. You have to rent the guy's Rishos. Because they didn't want hidden living with going. Right? That's essentially that, that's essentially what the what the Gemara what the Gemara came out with. Right? And um, yeah, so that that was the Maskana Sagamara. So now Gufa, we're on the Tambano Samapes of Aleph, uh, six lines up. Yeah. It's a part of the Gemara was also whether we consider a guy's rishus any sort of rishus. That's a gufa. Um, yeah, you have it. Everybody's on. We're on the same page here. Okay, gufa. So we said that a guy's rishus is considered no is no different than an animal's uh, an animal's rishus. And you're allowed to carry from the yard to the houses, from the houses to the chutzah. So that was Rameir in the Mishnah who says if there's even if there's one Yisrael living in the property, then it's Usr to carry because we don't want him living with a guy until he goes and rents the guy's Rishus. Right? Which is the way we paskin, which we'll see later on in this daf, is that you have to have two Yidin living together. If it's only one Yid living with the guy, that's not Meaning there should be no difference whether it's one yid or two yid, right? We don't want, the only reason we want you to have to rent the guys with shus is because we don't want yidin living with goyim. The only thing is one yid living alone amongst goyim is not a common enough case for the yidin to aser, for the chacham to aser. That's all the differences between one and two. All right, so we said that that's the, first, that's the most common thing when a yid goes to a hotel Right? When a yid goes to a hotel, can he carry in the, in the hallways of the hotel or outside the hotel, if, uh, assuming the hotel is fenced in properly? Right? Can, he, can he carry there? So the first question we ask is, are you there by yourself? If you're the only yid in the hotel, so since we pass, 
Therefore, he doesn't need any sort of air. He does not, meaning he does not have to go rent the rishus from the manager of the hotel, right? Because he's, he's the only yid there. It's only when you have a few families that go, right? Then, then when you have a few families, then that's when you have to start um, renting the rishus from the, from the manager. But there's a different, but there are different ways around that too, which we'll get to eventually. Anyway, so that's what we're saying. So now on Tom at Bays. So Amar Mar, Chatzayr shal Akum, Harayu ke dir shal Behema, a Chatzayr of a guy is like a dir of a Behema, Vanan Tanan Hadorim Akum, the Chatzayr Reza Oyser Alava. We have a Mishnah that says that if you live with an Akum, then it's Asrzim. So either, meaning if you're saying that a guy's property is like the animal's property, so then why why is it Asr? How can the Mishnah say that you're living with a guy? You're Asr. So the Kasha Had, the Isay Had, the Lesay. So it's an interesting territory. One is talking about where the guy is there, and one is talking about where the guy is not there. Right? If the guy is there, then, then obviously that's the case when it's going to become also, and you have to rent his Rishos. If he's not home, then you don't have to. Well, my Kasavar, so the Gemara says, what's the Svara? Ikasavar, Dira, Dira, Balei, Ba'alem, Shema, Dira. If you say that a, 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 a building without owners is considered a Dira, Filo Akam Nami then then the Akum should, the guy should ask, and if you say that a owner list, not an owner list, but a, a, a non-occupied um, residence, right, is not a Dira, I feel Yisrael Namina, and that's it, and even a Yisrael shouldn't become Aser. I mean, if you hold that a house doesn't ha- that does- that's not occupied, doesn't Aser, right, so then, uh, so then it should be no problem. And if you hold that an unoccupied house does ask, then it should be a problem. So it says, Really, an owner, or not an owner of this house, a non-occupied house is not a considered a house. The Yisrael, the Chi'isei Osir, and the Yisrael, the opposite, the opposite. When the Yisrael is home in the property, then it's also Ki but when he's not there, Gazer Be'er that's where they made a Gezeira, that even if the Yid is not there, we still make Xer as if he is there. Akam the say, um, but an Akam when he's there, Xer Shema Yuma Mimaisov. The uh, the only reason why you're not supposed to have a guy in your area is because we're afraid you're gonna learn from him. He say also, but when the guy is home, then you might learn from him. He less say loy also. When he's not there, you're not gonna ask. So just to just to try and clarify this, what this is talking about is that you're going to a guy's you're not living in the property, you're in a guy's you're in a in a, in a chatzar, where there's a guy there and a yid there. You're not, you don't live in that property. Can you carry in that chotzen? Right? So now the Gemara first thought that maybe if the guy's home, it's, it's, not, it's an issue. And if the guy's not home, it's not an issue. And the Gemara says, why should that make a difference? So we say, no, we're talking about where the Yid is, is not home. So if the Yid is not home, then um, it doesn't make a difference. Even if he, I'm sorry, even if he's not home. The Yid is not, Yid's not home, it's not going to make a difference. He's still not going to carry there. But if the guy is not home, since you're not going to learn from him, so then we don't, if we don't make you make a schirus or shus and rent the property from him. So then what it says, if the guy is not there, it's not also. We had this uh, bunch of blood ago. Somebody who leaves his house and he goes to another city for Shabbos, whether it's a yid or it's a guy, that left the city. It's his property is still going to make it also unto everybody else. To be a mayor, so you see that it has nothing to do with whether the property is occupied or not. So Hasam to Asid the Yami. No, there it's talking about where he could potentially come that day, right? Meaning it's close enough that he can come that day. So since he could potentially come on Shabbos, therefore it, you need to rectify and you need to do the renting of the rishos from the guy. Where are we? Where are we now? We're on Samach Beis Amud Beis. Mamish right halfway down. The first word on Amar Rabbi Yudam Shmuel. That was the hard part of tonight's daf. The rest of the daf is is the next the next lot is actually pretty easy. The only one that should have a hard time with it is me because it has to do with uh, it has to. You'll see. You'll see. It's a very nerve wracking gemara for anybody who at least tries to answer Shilas. Yeah. So Amar Rabbi Yudam Shmuel. Halacha k Rebbe Lezab and Yaakov, the halacha is like Rebbe Lezab and Yaakov, which we said, that's, it's only a problem if two Yidin live with Goyim. If one Yid lives with a guy, it's no problem. But Rav Huna Amar Minha Goyi k Rebbe Lezab and Yaakov. Rav Huna has a different lush, and he says the Minig is like Rebbe Lezab and Yaakov. But Rav Yochanan Amar Nagu Ha'am k Rebbe Lezab and Yaakov. 
the people were noyig like Rabbi Elazar ben Yaakov, right? So there's three different versions here. Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Shmuel says the halacha is like Rabbi Elazar ben Yaakov. Rabbi Huna says the minig is like Rabbi Elazar ben Yaakov, right? And and uh, and Rabbi Yochanan says the the nohgu am. Now it's it's very interesting. This these are these loshin these loshinus, right? Minig is um, Rashi says when minig means when you give a shear about it, you don't discuss, you don't say it, you don't say it. But if you're um, it. when somebody comes to ask a shayla, you tell them. See, this is a precedence, right? You read you read halachas on in articles and you read halachas in English forum, and the halacha says one thing, and then when you go to the rabbi, he tells you another story, right? This is mamish. What what's it saying here? When you say that something is a minig, so publicly you're not going to say it. Privately you are, right? And then the one that's that's if you hold it's minig. The one that says nagu holds that you don't even teach it privately either. But if a person comes and tells you I did this, then you say okay, you're all right, right? Do you have any examples? Of you this? don't make a macho. Now it's very interesting. So that means there's rule that what, what he's doing is not wrong. Correct. Exactly. It's not wrong. Now we use this, yeah, by the way, for anybody that's familiar with learning Shulchan Aruch, there's two Lashinas that the Ramah uses in Shulchan Aruch. Sometimes he says Noyagin, and then sometimes he says Vechein Noagu. Right? So the Nafkamina is, the Pais can say that the difference is when the Ramah says Noyagin, then that is the minig that the Ramah is telling you, this is what you should do. When he says, Nagu, he's saying, this is what the island decided to do. <laughs> it's pretty much like, who's running, who's running the, uh, the, the asylum over here? That's what it sounds like, right? The island is naik to do it this way, but not necessarily that that's, that's what it is. Anyway, so those are the three, those are the three opinions here. Um, yeah, so, so we have three versions. Okay, so, the, the, and that's the nafkamina between the two. So, Amr le Abay le Rabbi Yosef, Kaim elon, Mishnah's Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov, Kav v'noki. The Mishnah of Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov, anytime, anytime they teach anything from Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov, it's, it's clean and pure. Meaning, we always pass them like Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov. Vom Rabbi Yudam, Shmuel, Halachik Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov, Ma'u lo'uri b'mokim rabbi. Oh, so this is a very interesting Gemara here. So they said that the, the, anytime Rabbi Loza ben Yaakov taught something, it was proper, clean, thought out, and therefore we pass him like him. So now the question the Gemara is asking now is, is it so posh that we always pass him like him that you can even pass him like this in front of your Rebbe? Meaning, you have a Talmud and a Rebbe sitting there. You know, let, let's do the next two lines and we'll get back. Amrle, so they told him, Afilu biya even an egg, to dip an egg into kutach, right? Kutach is the milk, uh, you know, that, the favorite, that favorite drink, that's the equivalent of a Slurpee in the Gemara's times, right? Kuta uh, Habavli. Yeah. Kuta Habavli, right. Yeah. They have it all over. They have it all over, yeah. It's some sort of dip made out of milk, right? So somebody asks you, can you take an egg and dip it into milk? Now this is a, <laughs> sometimes uh, people ask, like how come an egg, if a chicken is fleshig, so how come an egg is parim? I don't know if anybody ever thought of that deep philosophical question, but, the, but why right, can why can you say uh, the milk from a cow? Milk is milk. Like the same thing. Same, so sort of the same, Shiloh, right? Chicken not really flashics. What? Chicken is not really flashics. That's true, but Lamaisa, we're knowing that it is flashics. So how come we don't do it with an egg too? Yeah, so because the truth be it's not an egg is is so far removed from. Okay, a so so Aaron, so then Aaron, so what about water? Uh, what about milk? Like like uh, Michael said, right? What about that milk? Is, okay, is whatever tough. it is. Whatever it is. That that's is the... Goes from flashing to parish. What? When the shell is formed. Oh, exactly. So an egg, by the way, depending on where, what's, what stage that egg is, when you open up the chicken, right? That's where it's going to be. At some point, it turns from flashing to parish. That's a whole complicated sugi, exactly what that point, when that point is. But safe to say that once it's in its shell, it's for sure considered part. Whatever it is, it's a part. And then back to flashix if it forms a baby chicken? Correct, Peretz. <laughs> yes, 100%. Now that we just finished the title, like it's like saying, like, Beal, isn't that baby no cow? What do you say? 
It's like saying like veal or, or an embryo of a cow is parib slash milfix. Yes, yes. We're starting the Torah anew today and we start off confused as could be, 100%, right? It goes from fleshix to parib, back to fleshix. Yes, yes. Anyways, so the Gemara is assuming here that everybody knows that a chicken, meaning if a guy comes over to a, a somebody who's not a, as they call it, a posake, right? And he says, uh, can I have this egg with cheese? So what's the answer? Are you allowed to pask in that? Is that a psak? So you know what I'm saying? That's not a psak. It's so obvious. That's not a psak. Right? That's one case. Right? So meaning, so somebody could say, the Gemara is saying, can, can you pask in that in front of your Rebbe? Somebody comes in and says, hey, can I have a chicken? So is that, is, can I have the egg? Is that a psak? So the Gemara is saying, the Gemara is asking, or really the Gemara is saying, no, it's not. It's not a psak. So you're allowed to say that in front of your Rebbe. Anything even... that profane in Shemesh is not a psak? Oh, very good. We're going to get to that in a it's minute. It's still very not chutzpah to answer in front of your Rebbe? What? Well, well, that's... That's exactly what he's saying. No, so it might not be chutz, but it might be the 20th nudnik that came to him in the last 10 minutes. And the <laughs> Rebbe tried to let the Rebbe drink his coffee. And these idiots are coming over there. Yeah, you're right. It is chutz, but you're right. But we're going to get to that in a minute. We got a whole omit of this, of this stuff in a minute. But, uh, but the Where point are we is, exactly? What do you say? Talking about being confused. Where are we exactly? Tamar Beis, Amit Beis. Six lines up, seven lines up from the bottom. Okay. We're still not on today's daf, right? We're getting there in a few minutes, right? But uh, the point is, is that the Gemara, he answered him, he says, yes, something like that, that's so simple, you would be able to answer. So that's what the Gemara means, is Rabbi Elizabeth Yaakov is so posh it, that we always paskin like him, that to tell somebody that we paskin like Rabbi Elizabeth Yaakov is not even considered a psak, since it's so posh it that we paskin like him. Meaning if it wasn't so posh it, then of course that'd be paskin in front of your Rebbe. But if it's, is it so posh it that we pass on like Rolazim Yaakov? So he's saying, Maybe yes. Maybe it's a chesed. Maybe it's a chesed to your Rebbe. Instead of like, like Avara is saying, people are sh- nudging him. You're, you're doing that's true. That's true. That's, that's true. That's a different case. We're just stop asking, is this considered, is this considered so posh it? So he's saying, yes, it's as posh it as paskening like an egg is pariv. That's how posh it is that we pass on like Rolazim Yaakov. So Would he it says, make a difference? Would it make saying? a difference how the shayla is asked? In other words, if someone comes and asks, if a rub, is halachic like Rabbi Leza ben Yalkin? So that you're allowed to say. But if someone gives a scenario and say, what's the halacha in this case? To say, oh, it's Rabbi Leza ben Yalkin, that's a little more complicated. Right. Um, I hear, I hear. Well, this, yeah, it's, it's, well, let, let's see how the Gemara go plays out and we'll see. Yeah. So then, They he asked Rav Chista. There's a whole Girsa issue here, right? So the way Rashi understands this Gemara is he wanted to see, he wanted to test Rav Chista. Rav Huna wanted to test Rav Chista. Um, I'm sorry. He, I don't know uh, uh, who was it. That's the problem. Right, it's Rabbi Yosef with the Bach. It's Rabbi Yosef asked Rav Chista, and he wanted to see if he's going to paskin in, in front of Rav Huna when Rav Huna was alive. He asked him about this chicken business. The Loi Oyrin, he wouldn't paskin. Right? Even something so posh, it, he wouldn't paskin. Right? Well, as long as Rav Huna was alive, okay? As long as Rav Huna was alive, not in front of him necessarily, as long as he was alive. Somebody, Rabbi Yaakov, I think, Aaron, you told me some stories about it. your grandfather, right? Your grandfather. Yeah, my father's aid, yeah, he did that. Right, he With wouldn't pass in Kozman, who was alive? Uh, uh, Tzvi Pesach Frank was alive. He wouldn't pass in Kinegin. Yeah. Okay, so here you go. This is Mamash, this Gemara is exactly that. Yeah, so Amalei Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi Lavai, could go in Megillus Tainus, the Ksiva U Mancha Mahu, Lairui Vaasri de Rabbe. What about Megillus Tainus, which back then seemed to have been the only safer around that told you when there are fast days and when there are different days of Tzoros of Klai Yisrael. And somebody asks you a question that's so befairish like Megillus, Megillus Tainus. Can somebody answer that in the town of his Rebbe? Amalei Hochi Amar Rabbi Yosef, Afilo Biyosef Bekutza. He said, Rabbi Yosef said, even, um, um, even, uh, even an egg, even that question, right? 
So, uh, yeah, so that's what he's saying. So that's, uh, um, then you wouldn't be allowed to. All right, so, and then he said, they asked Rav Chista during the lifetime of Rav Huna, and he didn't, he didn't answer. Yeah, fine. So now we're going to see by, there's a, there's a big tesis here about all the different options of how far we have to be. But let, let's see a little by the Rav Chista, Ayri Bekafri, Bashani the Rav Huna, Rav Chista did paskin in the city of Kafri when Rav Huna was still alive. Okay. Rav Hamnuna, Ayri Becharsa, the Argas, Bashani the Rav Chista. And Rav Hamnuna paskin in the, the city Charta the Argas when Rav Chista was alive. Ravina, Sar Sakina Bavavel, right? Now the Gemara says, Ravina checked, you know, you have to bring the Shaykh at the knife to check whether there's anything wrong with the knife. Not the Shaykh, you bring it to the rope. Right, so Ravina, Sar Sakina Bavavel. He, uh, he used to check the knives in Bavel. Only Ravashi, my time, I opened him why would you do this for? Right, meaning he did it in front of Ravashi. Ravina was Ravashi's Talmud, and he was checking knives in front of Ravashi. He said to him, why'd you do this? He said, Rav Huna, Rav Hamnuna paskin when Rav Chista was alive. No, it says he didn't paskin. Right? Ravashi thought, um, Ravina thought he did paskin. He said he didn't paskin. So he told him, no, some say that he said that he did paskin, some say he didn't paskin. So the Gemara says it was during during the life of Rav Huna's Rebbe. That's when he didn't paskin. But he did paskin when Rav Chista was alive. Why? The Talmud Chaver delay who have a, he was a Talmud Chaver. And I'm also Ravina saying to Ravashi, I'm also a Talmud Chaver of you. So basically, what happened was is Ravashi said, "You're my Talmud. How do you paskin?" So then they had they had um, two different versions of whether whether uh, Rav Hamnuna paskins or not, and uh, by Rav Chista. So he says so. The reason why he did it by Rav Chista is because he felt he was a Talmud Chover. So Ravina is saying I'm a Talmud Chover of Ashi. Fine. So basically, we have two different versions here of the Gemara, which is when can not really versions of the Gemara, but but. Some, according to some of this, well, the Gemara right now sounds like once when the Rebbe is alive, no matter where in the world he is, the Talmud's not allowed to paskin. Right? The Rebbe Mubuk. Oh, so that's a, the that's a first thing. So this is all going to be by a Rebbe Mubuk. What, could, right? what if, qualifies the Rebbe Mubuk? Nowadays, so that's the Paiskim say nowadays there's pretty much no such thing well, as a Rebbe Mubuk. Sh- r- was Rav uh, Blau, a lot of, well, not Rav Blau, Ramai Sh- Feinstein, his Talmud. Oh, Rabloom in Barapur. Rab- Rab- that's the god. That's a god of her door. No, but they no. Rabbi <laughs> Blue, that's Rabbi Malik Blue. Right, Rabbi Malik Blue. You allowed to paskin? When Rav Moshe paskin? Is he allowed to paskin? I don't know, but I don't know. Taka, he might be a Rebbe Mubik. You'd have to ask them. I mean, he passed away, never. But uh, first. But uh, I don't know if they consider the Rebbe Mubik. But the bottom line is, is one of the reasons that... It was Smita, like Blooming Crans a lot of parts. I mean, right, I so that's the thing. Right, so that's the thing. That's what, the, for the most part, the Ramah says that the reason for smicha... Now, what's smicha? Right, what's smicha do for us nowadays? Smicha is pshat that the Rebbe is giving permission to his Talmud to paskin. That's, that's essentially what smicha is. So if any Rebbe, so from Moshe Sternbach, give somebody smicha... Correct. So that means he's, correct. So he's telling him that he could paskin. He's telling him he's giving him permission so to really pass. So really, supposed to come from your every moment. So getting it from Samagai. Is... Correct. Right. Right. That's a good point. The Stam get a smicha from somebody really doesn't yeah. work then. So no, you made my online smicha is no it's good. Not Stamagai, okay? We're not talking about getting from Stamagai. <laughs> right. Correct. Ravar, <laughs> my online smicha is no good. Yantif to you too. Goodbye. <laughs> there are some yeshivas that have no idea that. No, Harris, no, yours, yours is good. As long as you make it a few bucks. It's Peseda. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> but maybe, anyway. maybe, let me, let, maybe, are you a lot of, the person who taught you Psak, are you a lot of Paschal? Well, say, if he gives you permission, then yes. The Gemara says if he gives you permission? The Gemara says, no, the Gemara doesn't say that. The Gemara doesn't say that. But right, there's nowhere in the Gemara. But that's what the Ramah says. That is what the Ramah says. Now, if you look in the, the, the bottom... 
Who? In Elchus what? Whatever he tells you to paskin. Whatever he tells you to paskin. Right. Paskin. Right. Whatever he tells you, you could paskin. That's what. That's what you could do. The tesis on the bottom of the last daf goes through whether it's really three parsois. It's not necessarily um, during the lifetime. It's really only in his location. Okay. It's a whole sugi. Let's see a little bit by time. Yeah, Rashi in his presence prohibited. Three, permitted, uh, three parts are more permitted. Tysis in his presence prohibited. Within three parts okay. prohibited. Three parts are more. That's art school. That's a chart for those that have art school. Exactly the difference between Rashi and Tysis Pshat. But uh, what are you saying, Gershon? Could there be an Indian the other way? Like we're talking about it being a chutzpah for a Talmud to answer Shaila when the Rebbe, either in front of the Rebbe or when the Rebbe's there. But, but could it be that a Talmud cover, the point of the Talmud cover is it switches, it's Fakir. Now it's a cover for the Rebbe to see his Talmud answer Shaila. Maybe. I hear that. I hear that. But I have a big problem trying. I looked into it today a little bit. How do you define a Talmud cover? A Talmud cover, the way this basic definition seems to be, is that he's a Talmud, but the Talmud, he also, the, the Chavar also learned something from the Talmud, right? Who hasn't, right? We have Gemaras that say he learned from his Talmudim the most, right? In the Pirkei Yavis. I forgot who it was. That's what it means, or it means that he learned, he, he, the Talmud grew so much that the Rebbe learned with him Becharusa. He became his Chavar. Whatever it is, but whatever it is, isn't that what happens? Every Talmud helps a Rebbe understand things. Yeah, that's something else because the Rebbe has to work harder. But it's all the Rebbe. Could be. Could be. This is when he, when a Talmud becomes a Chavrusa of the Rebbe. That's a, that's something else. I hear. I don't know. He's given you everything. Ah, uh, Gersh, I learned with him nothing to for a couple of months. I promise you, I ain't no Talmud Chavr. All right. <laughs> no, that I did the same. I learned with Rabbi Forst with Chavrusa. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. So we're all we ain't no Chavr. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm certainly no Chavr. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Fine. Okay, so let's see back there. Oh, my Rebbe. Then we get into some heavy Gemaras about passing in front of a Rebbe. But first we have others. Oh, my Rebbe. Tzorah mi Rabbonon, chazi l'nafshei. A young Talmud Chacham is allowed to paskin for himself. Meaning, does he have to go show his knife? This is actually a, now that Sukkot is over. Can you paskin on your own esrig? Or you got to go show it to the Rabbi? Right? So here it sounds like he can paskin himself. For his own knife, he can paskin. Right? So, David, this is your Gemara here that you machavit to Ravina Iklu la Machuza. Ravina Chavit to Machuza. I say, Shbichasinu, Sakina, Vakamach. So, the, the guy in charge of the hotel that he stayed in showed him his knife. Omar Lei, Zilam to Ila Rava. He said, Good, you got to go show it to Rava. I'm the Talmud. You can't show it to me. Omar Lei, Loi Sover Lamar, Hod Omar Rava, Tsuber Rebon Chazi and Afshe. Didn't Rava, your Rebbe, say that you can look at it for your own good? Right? And the supper is yours. The supper I'm serving you is yours. So it's for you, not for me. Amale, I know Mizman Zvina. I hope this is not neg- I hope this part is not negated to you, David. That this, I'm no, I'm paying for my food, so it's not considered <laughs> it's not considered for me. It's considered for you. Right? Okay, so uh, yeah. Fine. So that's that Gamar. Isn't, isn't it Rava who in, in Gamar Psachin? The the Rava made a stop going around the tables pouring the wine and some didn't, didn't stand up. The Rava said, if you don't stand up, you're not a Talmud. Right. The Lord says, even though Rava holds Rabbi Shemachal, the way we play the muscle, still not a Talmud. Wasn't that Gemara yeah, Rava? So it makes sense here, the, the Shittase. Talmud. Are you saying it's Rava the Shittase? Okay, Rava, very good. It's Talmud the Shittase Rava, yeah. I hear. Very good. You're on the ball. Okay, good. Simon, Zeilo, Lahani, Machlet, Ikav, Yaakov. Rav Lazim Rav Yuni Yuvah Rav Abba Bar Tachlifa Iklu Lebei Rav Acha Bray the Rav Ika Ba'asri the Rav Acha Bar Yaakov. Okay, it's a lot of names over there, right? Rav Lazim and Agronia and Rav Abba Tachlifa travel to that to the city of Rav Acha Bray the Rav Ika in the town of Rav Acha Bar Yaakov. Boy, Rav Acha Bray the Rav Ika lemevad lo igla tilsa. He wanted to make right. Um, well, that we had two different shots on what igla tilsa was, right? Either it's a third of its uh, a third of its size. Or it's the third born, yeah? I see Sakina, the Kamach, and then they brought the knife to show the, to show the knife, the Shita knife. Are you not worried about uh, the Saba, Rav Achabar Yaakov, the, the elder, meaning you're paskining in front of a, a Saba? A 
Talmud Chacham could look for himself, meaning not paskening for anybody else. He's paskening for himself, even though his Rebbe's around. Chazi, he looked at the night, via Anish Rebbe Lozim and he got punished. Right? Um, which means, uh, yeah, I don't know exactly what punishment he got, but meaning he got punishment when a Shemayim. Right? Of Omar Robert Zimmer Bonner Chazi the Nafshei, but how do you get punished? He says a young Talmud Chacham is allowed to look. Shani Yosem Teschilu Bichvaidai. Because since they started talking about that you having covered, right? Meaning they said, why don't we go show the knife to Rav Achab And then he just said, no, 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 we don't have to show them. I look for myself. That was already too much of a slap in the face. Meaning if he would stop and looked at him, the whole conversation wouldn't have come up. So it wouldn't have been a chutzpah. But then, then, then even though the conversation came up and he decided, look, anyways, it was a chutzpah. That's one shot. No, he was, and this is also comes into halacha. He was muflug. He was way head and shoulders, like a Godel Adar. Like, like you said, he's a Godel Adar. That's a different story. Even if you have no shaykhs to the Godel Adar, but him you can't start up with, right? So fine. But to stop somebody from doing an Isser, even in front of the Rebbe, is, an, is allowed. Meaning, a Rebbe and a Talmud are walking in the street, and uh, that's what the Gemara is going to bring a case of that. And the, the Talmud sees somebody doing something wrong, the Rebbe didn't notice it. He doesn't have to go ask the Rebbe, hey, is that guy doing something wrong? You can jump right up and say, hey, you're doing something wrong, and that's not a slap in the face to the Rebbe. Ravina, yeah, on the first word on Ravina, Hava Yosef Kameh the Rav Ashi. He was sitting in front of Rav Ashi. Chazia lahu gavra the ka'asa le lechamri betzinsa b'shapsa. He saw the person tying up his, his uh, chamor, his donkey, to a, to a tree. On Shabbos, Rama be kala v'loy ashrach. He lifted up his voice literally, and he I mean, he yelled at him, and v'loy ashrach be, and he didn't listen to him. Amar le lavi hai gavra b'shamso. So Ravina said he should be uh, he should, this guy should be in cherem. Amar le ki hai gavna mi mischaza kapikursa. Right? Does this look the, well? It's not a pikursa. It's uh, it's interesting because it's <laughs> yeah. I have to tell you this. Because of this like- when David Din was first in yeshiva, I was walking one side of Central Avenue and he was walking another side. And I was calling him and calling him and calling him. He didn't answer me. The half hour later, we saw each other. Made some I went over and I said, David, I called you. Why don't you say hello to me? He says, I'm deaf in my left ear. I didn't hear you say anything. So you could say okay. anything about the guy is deaf. No. <laughs> okay, that's that's a real Don Lekov's chus right there. I hear. Um <laughs> Um, I hear. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But anyway, so he wanted to put him into Cherem. So I'm like, I got him to me, Ms. And it's interesting that this is the same. One second. Apikairis is with a Samach. Is there Samach or a Saf? Samach, right? So it's not the same word. I was trying to make a Tzushtel episode. Yeah. Oh, maybe there is a Tzushtel. But uh, anyway, so he said, does he look like a Hefka? I think it comes more from Hefka, right? But whatever it is, it's, it's, it's a Chutzpah to do that. This has many, many a fight have come from this pasuk. Okay, many a erlucha l'shem shemayim machlokes. Right? There's no chachma, there's no understanding, and there's no eitzah. This is a pasuk, right? In Mishle, right? There's no chachma and there's no tfuna and then eitzah when it goes against Hashem. So kol makom shigesh bechil Hashem ein cholken kavod l'rav. There you go, right there. Okay, anytime there's a chil Hashem, that you don't give cover to the Rav. Right? So if there's going to be a chil Hashem, then you don't. Uh... What? And any of it that's done in public is a chil Hashem. Yeah, 100%. Some are Rav. The front of us. Like, are... like closing up our minion, something like that, but you know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but uh, um, no. But it's interesting because I, I was I was reading on one of these pamphlets on doing tshuva and all that. So they said you don't have to ask mechila if there was a lack of kavod Torah involved, right? But that's a loaded question. When is it a lack of kavod Torah? You know that da 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 whatever, right? But it's all along the same line. Okay, so Amar Rava, the fun of Osir, the chayiv misa. Okay, if you pass it in front of your Rebbe, it's Osir and Yechayev Misa. Shaloi Bafon of Osir, but ain't Chayev Misa. It's not in front of him, then it's Osir and you're not Chayev Misa. But Shaloi Bafon of Loi, and 
if you're not in front of him, you're not going to be high misa. But it's pretty strong to be high misa, the paskening in front of a Rebbe, right? But Tanya, Rebbe Lezer, I'm a loy mesa b'nei Aaron, at shahara, Allah b'nei Moshe Rabbim. The b'nei Aaron didn't die, right? Another one of only because they were, they paskened in front of Moshe Rabbeinu. My daughters, but not somebody Aaron, a kain Esham was there, right? They said they should put the fire on his way. Amru Afa Pisha Esh Yared Minashamayim. You read this in the Shema, even though the fire comes down from Shemayim, mitzvah lahavi min ahedjid. It's a mitzvah to bring it from the ahedjid, meaning from humans. The Talmud hech, um, uh, anyway, so I'm getting worried and ask the Kasha, but the Kasha is going to be, the Gemara is not finished with the Kasha, but the Kasha is going to be that he, they weren't in front of Moshe when they did this, yet they're still Chayav Misa, right? They did this in the base of Mikdash on their own. They weren't in front of Moshe when they passed in. The Talmud hech, how you led the Rebbe Yaza? Shahira Allah Bafanov, there was Rabbi Lezah's Talmud Paskin in front of him. Um Rabbi Yaza La Ima Shalom Ishtai. He told it to Ima Shalom, his wife, which is very interesting why the Gemara is saying this. To me, Ani, and Yoitzi Zeshnosai, the Loy Hotzi Shnosai. It's gonna be a wonder to me if this guy doesn't live out lives out the year. And Itaka didn't live out the year, but Loy Hotzi Shnosai. So Amr Loy, she said to him, Noviato. Are you a Navi? <laughs> Whatever it is, you see, even the Gedalim's wives didn't think, oh, are you a Navi? Like, what do you mean? I, oh, of course I'm a Navi, <laughs> right? So we all think our wives, not Mechav, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to say any more than that on this, especially on this stuff. But the, the point is that <laughs> things don't change. Yeah, I'm a law. It's being Navi recorded. What? It's being recorded. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not. We, <laughs> listen, do we really re- the deserve the, the bottom line is, do we really deserve the respect? What we think that's due to us, no, right? So what I'm just saying, but uh, so whatever it is, yeah. So I'm not law. Like Navi or Nachi, like Ben Navi or Nachi. I'm not Navi, and I'm not the son of a Navi. Elokach mechablani. I was makabel this. Kol amor Allah b'pnei Rabbi Chayim Misa. If you pass in the front of Rabbi Chayim Misa. Ba'am Rabbi Rachana Rabbi Yochanan. And I said, Tamar Yehuda Ben Guria Shmai. His name was Yehuda Ben Guria. V'hayyirachav imenu shalish parsayis, and he was three parsayis away from him. Right? So whatever it is, you see that you're Chayim Misa, even if you're far away from your Rebbe. So the Gemara answer is not a fun of Hava. He was in front of him. He was in front of him. He was in front of him. It says he was three parasaurus away. And according to you, why do you have to say him, his name and the name of Shem Aviv Lama? Why do you need to say the name of him and his father? You shouldn't think that it's a Mashal, so they wanted to give a specific name to the story, so therefore, that's why that's what it uh, that's what it was. So didn't, didn't um, that's why he said a muscle. What didn't the Gemara Brachas bring a beferish Shemaisa with Eli Akayan and Shmuel and Avi? Elamar is this halalti, and Eli said to oh. Hannah, "Give me your kid. He's high misa because he passed him in front of me." Right. Why is the Gemara bring that here? That's straight out. No, but wasn't that in front of him? That yeah, was in front of first, him. The first part of this Gemara was in front of him. We brought the Nagar of Aviyu, and it said that wasn't in front of him. We are trying to bring in the beginning that it was in front of him, Yichai Misa, no? No, that, no, they were just trying to prove that Yichai Misa is even not in front of him. So the Gemara is saying, no, he's, he, they, what, he was in front of him. The reason why they told him his town was just to give some validity to it. But it doesn't seem that the Gemara answers... It doesn't answer the Nagar of Aviyu question, no? No, it doesn't the Gemara doesn't seem to answer that one? I think it only answers the second one. Not that I'm a little confused with. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is. Um, yeah. Fine. Let's see a little right. If anybody has, has, here's what comes up with a te- what how we answer another review part. I'm not sure about that. So fine. So Amar Reb Chia Bar Abba Amar Reb Yochanan. Anybody who passes in front of his rabbi should uh, should bite him. Shenemar Vayan Vayan Elihu, not Elio, Elihu ben Barchiel Habuzi, right? Vayaymer, and he said, Sierani Liyamim, I'm young, Al Kain Zachalti, therefore I'm scared. Uksiv, in Chamazoichli Offer with the with the the heat the, of the anger of the thing that goes in the dirt. Mamish this week's Pasha, right? There we go. This week's Pasha, that who's a snake, slithers on the ground. It goes on the ground. You know, it goes on the ground from, from the thing. 
Ziri Amar Rav Chinin Nikra Chaitish and Amar the Libi Tzafanti Im Nasecha Leman Leich Telach. Okay, so these, he's, so now we have one that he's high me, so one that he should be bit by a snake, which is really the same thing. And then there's uh, then he's Tam Kol Lachaita. Then Rav Hanuna Rami Ksiv Rav Hanuna has the steer Ksiv the Libi Tzafanti Im Nasecha in my heart. I've, I have it hidden, the words of Hashem are hidden. Uksiv, he said, I said it out loud. So was it, was it hidden or was it said out loud? Like, Kasha Kamazman, Sheira Hayyiri Kayim. One is talking about when Ira Hayyiri was Kayim, then he didn't, he kept it quiet because he wasn't allowed to paskin. Kamazman, Shalayira Hayyiri Kayim. That's when he was no, when, when he wasn't alive anymore. So therefore, he, the David Amelech was able to say his psalkin. Yeah? Um, okay, so now let's just stop there just for one second. So now what's Bisman is that my cigarette? I'm a I I I guess I answer questions in this town or, or other towns too. There are much bigger rabbis than me in this town. How you talking? Then they're down the block from me, okay? And sometimes they're in the same bismarish as me. So what am I doing? Am I nuts? No, but they're not your rabbi. Don't answer that, okay? I know what you're going to answer, okay? It's <laughs> Biyaka, but what happens if they, they don't paskin shilas? No, but there are some that do. I'm saying Rabbi okay. Forrest paskins, okay. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Forrest paskins, Rabbi Brown paskins, right? Or, or, or. So what's a shot? It's a big community. If everyone had to wait, uh, then they would have big problems. No, you're right. You, that's true. But They the don't accept you, texting. <laughs> that's true. Okay, <laughs> that's that's true, but it's you mean you can only it's only a, if I'm not being my I was joking. I no, was no, joking. you're right. Maybe Taka. Only if they're in this matzev of a text, they would never get an answer. So maybe it's not in a matzev that as if they're in the same town because they don't text. I don't know. Whatever the answer is the answer is shot is that the Pais can say, and it comes up a lot, is that we look at, since everything is in Svarim nowadays, almost nothing is a Psak, right? Almost everything that gets asked is not even a, a Mishnah Brura, it's mostly Kitzvah Shulchan Aruch at the, at the end of the day, right? Sometimes you get some heavy questions, but most of them were already, they're already written in all the Svarim, and basically, you know, just because you have That's why you call source. yourself Rabbi Google, because all you're doing is giving us the answer that's written somewhere. Correct, exactly right. Are so we talking say. about non Nida Shiles? Shilas? Any any Shila. Any Shila. You're talking about like Even oh, you the Shilas, Shilas. if it's a certain type of color, no. Right. So you the Vedika clause taka doesn't work. That that doesn't work. But I'm saying the, the for the basic Shilas, etc. etc. then uh then oh, I'm saying. so what but they but if they're way bigger, we said Muflig before. So it could be that maybe they're not considered my rebe- Good, whatever it is. But still, if they're muflig, which I promise you, they're muflig than me. Okay, way, way muflig. Okay, they want you to pass. What I could, but could, good, but whatever it is, they're muflig from me. So I'm not. But the way, the basic way out from this, right, is and no, same thing with a godol, right? You have gedolim. Say hi, how are you asking me? Go to Rabbi David Feinstein. Rabbi David Feinstein's alive, right? For Hashem, right? We said that, and it's as if if they're alive and they're muflig. So the answer is because it's beferish. It's beferish in Shulchan Aruch. If not in Shulchan Aruch, it's in Kitzur Shulchan Aruch. If not that, it's in Mishnah Brura. If not that, it's in a Pesach Tshuva. It's in a this, and it's in the Tshuvas, and it's all written. It's all available. So therefore, it's considered that it's not a psak. It's not a psak, right? Which. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. It's Yaakov. Yes. So if somebody asks a shaila, and the person gives him a psak. He can go to the next rub because it's not a psak. Very good. Yeah, 100%. That is a very valid point. That could very well be. I'll tell you another. Is that enough? Yeah, it it no. could be. If it's not really a psak. And it's well, doesn't every, doesn't every rav have their own interpretation of the actual halacha? That's meaning? true. So you have to know which shilas are open for interpretation and what's, what's befetish. I'll tell you a hint. I'm saying, but, and the big shilas. I had a big shila. You asked for David Cohen. I'm saying you call oh, someone exactly, bigger. Uh, right, exactly. You right, call one right. of the gedolim to, when you correct. have a real shila. Correct, correct. 100%. So I'll tell you, I'll tell you that I can't, I'm not going to say which big Pisic said this, but sometimes you got to be, when you ask a Shiloh to a Rav, right? And if you pay attention to the way he answers you, you, you could sometimes figure out that he's going not necessarily with his Psak. Meaning, you, you call him and he say, the, he'll say like this, uh, Rav Shalim Zalman matters it. Okay? He you knows his customer. Based, no, but what he's, what he's saying is that his Messiah, it can't, he would go Lechumra. He's telling, he's not paskening. That's the trick. 
He's not passing. He's saying, if you want, you can be Simech on Reb Shleim Zalman because there's a Sefer that says it beferish, since you don't know about the Sefer. So I'm telling you, Reb Shleim Zalman says A, B, C, and you can rely on Reb Shleim Zalman. It's Reb Shleim Zalman's Psak. It's not the Rosh. I once, I once, I once asked Reb David Cohen, I told you this once. I asked him, are you allowed to be Simech on the Avon Farakwe? So he answers there are poiskim that could be relied upon in practice. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. He is not, he, by him answering that way, he is not paskening. He's saying there are rabbonim that are paskening. Yes. You do the same sometimes. Okay. You, you, also do the same. you also do the same. Correct. I, well, I learned that trick. What should I tell you? At least I learned something. I learned that trick. <laughs> yes. And so uh, land out, there's no need to admit that it mostly happens to you. <laughs> everything is mutter. So far, everything I asked him was mutter. I didn't know that I wasn't involved. Yeah. So Listen. Um, whatever. It happened, but sometimes it happens with major, major, major shilas. Well, what if Robin Cohen answered like that? He's saying that. He's I'm, saying, I'm not posking the Arab. He's not telling you you can carry there. How can he tell you? He doesn't need to have a look at our Arab. Because he's not being Isaac in the Arab. Correct, yeah, but whatever, whatever it is, but he doesn't want to take the achrayas either of saying, how could he say, I, again, I can't speak for him, but what I think it means is that this, he's saying there are reliable rabbonim and you're relying on them that uh, you're using their eruv. So why can't he answer straight, I don't know what's the eruv of Frakway and go after rabbonim of Frakway? Because he's telling you that, that as, as, as there are rabbonim that are legitimate rabbonim, in the stomach, you can, you can rely on them. That's what if he, he says that, if, Zev, if he says that, where do you go? Right. If he doesn't oh, give you oh, this, right. I don't know. So where do you go now? Right, right. Someone bigger than him? Who doesn't know? Who lives in B'day Brock? <laughs> yeah, so nah. No, I will tell you with Rav David Cohen, I had this mice, I guess I could say it. I mean, it's, 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 and it's an unfortunate story, but, uh, but a couple that, that uh, they can't have kids, right? And he's got, he, it's the, the whatever it is, they can't have kids. So the Shaila is to use, you know, the big fight with Ramosh and the Satma Rebbe. Right? Everybody's aware of that big fight. No. The, the big machlaikis that uh, Ramosh said, Rem, said he could use artificial insemination from a guy. They say he could use it from a guy. Right? So now the Maisa, uh, this person went to Rebbe David Feinstein, Rebbe David Feinstein said no. Right? You can't do it. You can't be Simech on this I don't know if he said he can't be Simech, but David Feinstein wasn't willing to. He went to, uh, to another Chosh of a Rav. I, I, was, I don't remember exactly, but then he said, can I be Simech on Rav Moshe? So the Rav told him, Rav Moshe writes it. He says, were well, you telling me that I could be Simech on Rav He says, I'm not telling you you can be Simech on Rav All I'm telling you is that you want to go like Rav Moshe, you can go like Rav Moshe. says it. He, he was, he's saying Rav Moshe says it. Ramosha says it, you can't deny it. Ramosha says it in the truth. And he matters it. If you choose to go like that, he says, I give you permission to go like Ramosha. So why is Rav David not Hoposkin like that? Uh, that I don't know. I don't know. I didn't speak to him, so I wasn't I wasn't I was in a third party, and so I can't uh I can't uh say I don't know. Maybe he held that there was a specific situation what, that uh, so, so what are you saying? That he's saying what are you doing that? That what? What I'm saying is that sometimes a psak is not a psak. When you hear it from a rub and he says, You can be Simon on Psak A, B, and C. That doesn't mean that Rob is not giving the psak. He is telling you you can rely on that psak. Right? Meaning, what the point is with this whole sugi is that since Svarim are so so out there nowadays, it's very hard to say that anything is considered a psak. That's all, and that's that's that is the the way around around. Well, when this, they were uh, passing the deposits and everything, you know, for chasenas, this that during Corona. They were passing. You mean uh, the 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 halachas with the deposits? Yeah, yeah. It's real. No, those, no, that was a real psak. No, no, that's a real psak. Right. That no, you're right. That's the, the he's saying you know people that made chasanas and then the, you know the whole the whole thing paying rent during Corona. You you put down money for a chasana and then you can't make a chasana, but not because anybody's fault because they didn't allow them. Yeah. So who should lose the money? Right. Schools tuitions. Right. You didn't. Your kid didn't go to school from April. So are you mechuyif to pay tuition or not? It's an oinus. The shaila is who, who's liable for the oinus, right? 
So that's a real, that's a real psak. That, that's, I mean, there's a little bit of precedent, but really there was not much precedence, which is, by the way, why the most popular psak was Hassan Seifer. Come to an agreement. Hassan Seifer, Hassan Seifer himself said he couldn't pask in it, right? So that's so why everybody said, there, gonna, they basically said split it. They tried to say to people to split it, right? Don't Shara, Shara, split it. Okay, whatever it is. But that, that's the way we get around it. Let's see, go a little weiter. Summer of Abba Barzavdo. Yeah, now we, we get, get a credit from last year. What? You can get a credit from last year. Get a credit? It's a joke. A credit for last year of tuition. Oh, right. very good. Summer of Abba Barzavdo. Kolonis and Matanois of the coin. Echon, maybe Rob Loyalum. If you give all your matnas kahuna, like all your chumas and maizes to one coin, then you're going to bring starvation to the world. Shanemar, Ira, 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 Haya, Kain, the David. Ira, the Iri, was a kind to David. The David, who to have a kind, he was, was he only a kind to David? He was a kind for everybody. The Kuli Amaloi, to everybody, he was not a kind. Ella Shayu Meshagal and Matanaisov, he would send them all as Matanas. And there was a starvation in the days of David. So therefore, we're learning out that if you give all your stuff to, uh, if you give all your stuff to one coin, all your chumas and mice, chumas, to one coin, then that's going to bring, uh, yeah, that's going to bring Rob to the, yeah. okay, interesting what it means. So David Amelov didn't know that this was going to cause, um, David Amelov didn't know that he shouldn't give all his, his chumas to one, uh, to one, to one coin. Okay, face. What they do is, <coughs> now we're back to the other Gemara. Right, the back to if somebody passes in front of his rebbe, they're going to knock him down from his greatness. Allah Zarakoyin told to the army, right? Um, um, and so Allah was the one that told it over to the army. But really, why should even though he sh- his to my brothers, the brother of my father, right? That's that's Moshe, his uncle, right? Even he wasn't, he was commanded not, not, and meaning, um, he didn't get it from Moshe Rabbeinu. Even so, he still punished. And Yeshua stood in front of Allah Yeshua, And we don't see that Yeshua ever needed uh, Allah Zer, right? Um, fine. So that's, uh, yeah, so meaning Allah never, Yeshua never had to go ask anything from Allah, even though that was what he was supposed to do, but he never had to. And the reason why Allah lost out on that is because he passed in the front of Moshe, so he got knocked down from his, from his gedula. Fine. Amr Rabbi Levi, called the Moshe of Mila Kamei Rabbi. Anybody who says one word in front of his Rebbe, also Lishaol, he's going to go down to Gehenna. Right? Beloi Vila, no, it doesn't mean Gehenna, it means he's going to get buried without having a child. And Yeshua ben Nun answered, um, he, he was, a uh, Bachurov doesn't mean young, it means he was his Bachur, his, his house Bachur, whatever, right? He was his helper, right? Um, he answered, He said, my master, right? He said to Moshe, um, um, lock them up. Right, that's by Elder the Maidot. So you see, he told Moshe what to do. Uksiv, Nun benoi Yeshua benoi. It says Nun was his son, and Yeshua was his son, right? And doesn't say anything more than that. So therefore, you see from this that Yeshua ben Nun never was like to have a son because he paskined in front of Moshe. He didn't paskin. He just told Moshe what to do. Okay. Upliga the Rav Abba bar Papa, Dama Rav Abba bar Papa. Loy nana Yeshua el b'shul shabitel as Yisrael lai laicha b'piravir. Right? Famous Gemara that what Yeshua ben Nun was paskin like. Um, the reason why Yeshua ben Nun um, didn't have a son is because he was Mavato Klai Yisrael from being together with the wives for one night. He was in Yericha and he lifted up his eyes and he saw. He said uh, he saw the uh, he the, 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 the person he met told him I'm I'm a Malach, right? And now I'm here. So Amr Loi Emish bitaltem Tomish Ben Arbaim. Right today or this afternoon, you were mavatel the Talmud Ben Arbaim. But Achsha bitaltem Talmud Torah. And now you're stopping everybody from learning. Alezem and Basa. Right. So which one are you coming for me? Right. How Meaning old, that's what he. What are you saying? How old was Yeshua then? Wasn't Yeshua? 
I mean, I was, a, he was an old man then, no? What did happen for the first 60, 70, 80 years of his life? And a Konami, I don't know. No, I think, I mean, I mean that punishment happened before. That's for, That's for they're already in the midbar for 40 years. I hear. Um, you should be your right statement, right? Right, I hear. Why are they in the midbar for 40 years? Already? What? Didn't this happen before? I don't know. Maybe they didn't have children. Oh, it's, no, it's not after Arsene. No? Maybe they didn't have maybe, this one they women? Maybe they didn't have children because he was on the derrick. I hear. I don't know. I, I first of all, does it mean he didn't have a son or he didn't have kids at all? It says he put in a that's reason. All, that's Rashi all. says from the Gemara it sounds like just the son. From the, the Rashi says, says the Gemara says, call Moise Kame Rebbe Ozilisha Beloy Vlad. It's children. That's I know, why but it's... What, what is that? <coughs> no, the, Gemara, I, I, the... the Gemara says, boy, Vlad, without children. It doesn't say without a son. You're right, you're right. I don't know why I thought son. No, because the Gemara goes by and it says... <laughs> no, because Nun benai Yeshua benai. Right, so, so that's why you understand the Gemara? No, the so Rashi says, the... Ubasa Yeshua, like Hosh of Ben. So what, is Rashi... say... so what does the Gemara mean, boy, Vlad? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Just, I don't know. The Gemara says Beloy Ben. What? No, Beloy Vlad. The no, it says part. Beloy Vlad. No, I was mixing up the Rashi with the Gemara. The, Rashi, the Gemara says Beloy Vlad. Then Rashi seems to say Benoy. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is. Second so I, Rashi, I hear you, Kasher I don't know. I hear. The second Rashi says he was Ariri. Ariri right, which, make, which makes sense with the Gemara. But Ariri means that the children he already had died. So it could be that he had children. Ariri is the second. Karis va Ariri. Karis is dying without any more children. Ariri is the previous children that a person had will die before him. I hear. Yeah. Okay, I maybe. Hear. I hear. Um, so I said to him, so which one are you coming to tie on me for? Being Mavato, the Tavach Abayin Arabayim, or the Bittal Taira? I'm like, Atabasi, I'm coming now. Miyad va Yelech Yeshua, Belay Lahu, Betoycha Emek. So, meaning he was warning him. So he said he went out to the Teicha Emek, which literally means into uh, Emek is a valley. valley. What that means is that he went to the depths of learning halacha, right? And he learned out from that, from his learning that if the Aaron is not in the proper place where it's supposed to be, then everybody can't be together with the wives. So that's what because that was a mistake. He called, told everybody they can't be together otherwise, and that psak was incorrect. You just learned it again. Well, oh, but no, that was a new. There was a new psak. So I understand. He didn't I mean, pass he, him. He didn't pass him. The no, nothing to do with passing. This is stam has nothing to do with passing. This is that he got it wrong, right? Oh, this is shabitos is so I like a pair of yerva. And then the Gemara goes like, how did that happen? So, so basically what comes out, Yeshua did three things wrong. He was Mavato the Tamid, and Bittal Torah, and also this, uh, and also he was Mavato Kla Yisrael for and one night. And that, that's the reason why he... And that's why he got punished. And that's why he got punished. He got punished. Not because of the other two. Yeah. Not because of Torah and... and uh, right, only from the thing. Right, only from that. Correct, correct. That's why Numela he did not have kids, right? That's why because it's connected. is more than being than hakrovas tamidin, right? There's a famous thing, right? You hear what the Gemara is saying? Learning is more than bringing karbonus, the carbon tamid. The amarle atabasi, right? You're supposed uh, to you're supposed to learn rather than say the pitam <laughs> Very good, <laughs> yeah, very good. Uh, but whatever it is, it should be a chizik. But you know, what I'm saying that we don't have the visa mikdash, um, and we still, yeah. But it's I, I don't know. I find this very scary because Lamaisa Yeshua Manun made up sock. He thought, and now he's getting punished. So this is the risk of leadership. That's, yeah. It's the risk of leadership. 
I'm saying, you know, you have the Rabbana no, having to make decisions to listen to the government on some Torah, not listen to... But me, wasn't it because like, he did it in front of Moshe? No, no, Shai. No, the other one. Moshe was miffed already. No, this is no, he just not made a mistake in the Psalm. But I understand. So that means the rabbis that decide, yay, go to Shul, not go to Shul, da, 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 if they make the wrong decision, they're going to be on the hook. Right? That's why he's signing a Rabbanus. hundred uh, percent. I'm saying it's a, no, it's a big achrayas. It's a big achrayas. Okay, fine. I don't know. I don't know what else to take out of that Gemara. So, fine. Amar Abrun, Amar Rav, Kala Yoshim. This is an interesting Gemara also. Amar Abrun, Amar Rav, Kala Yoshim, Bekilosh, Ish, 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 Anybody who sleeps in a room that a husband and wife are sleeping in there, Allah Vakasav, Aymer, Neshe, Ami, Tegashim, Mibes, Tanuga. It says you're going to throw out the wives from their enjoyment, right? So, meaning since you're sleeping in the same room as a couple, so obviously they're not going to be able to be together, so therefore they're embarrassed. And therefore, you are over on the Isra. Now, it doesn't bring this down in Shulchan Aruch. Somebody told me, I forgot who told me this, that Revival Cohen holds that when you have guests for Shabbos or Yom Tif, and you put the kids together in the same room as the parents, you're over on this Isra. Wow. Yeah, I, again, I didn't hear it from Revival. I didn't hear it from Revival. Somebody told me Revival holds that because you're, now you're causing uh, I don't know if he held you over on the Isser or it, or you shouldn't do it. Because Lamaisa, now the couple can't be together. The same, thing, they have, you put, the same thing for your own kids in your room for the, for the same reason. And a Hanami. But that there, maybe the wife says that she wants that or whatever. But if you, meaning if the couple says, don't worry, put the kids in our room. So that's their choice. But if you, if you want to invite somebody over and you're saying that the only way you could, you know, I'm giving you a room with your kids. And you're not Maybe giving them much of Wait, she's what to them. Oh, so that's the next line. <laughs> you Muhammad to the government. It says, no, even if she's a nida. Why? Because she can't talk privately to her husband, whatever it is, because there's somebody else in the room. Right? If other Rabbi, now he's saying the other way, if she's a nida, then, you, then you're a tzaddik for being in the room because then they won't be over. Again, it shows that what kind of confidence you're having a class or with that. Right? Yeah, what about every other night of their life? <laughs> exactly. That's the next line to go on. Right. So <laughs> who was watching them too? All of a sudden you're in the you're in the house. Yeah, I am I'm the canoe. I'm gonna start sleeping with all the couples. The light of your side sure. candle every night. Light of your side <laughs> right. candle every night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean also, but I mean also, why would you want to know she's in need? That's none of your business. That's true, but if it uh, <laughs> Back then, though, by back then, the women had separate clothing for Nida. It was much less of an embarrassing thing back then. Much, it's a whole different Torah. Whatever, that's the end of the tonight's stuff. We could stop there. That's the end of the Agatha. But that was an interesting, uh, that is an interesting psa. What's the Shay Amit What are you saying? Yeah, but the Shulchan Aruch doesn't bring it down. It's a Pasuk. The, the Shulchan Aruch doesn't bring it down, but what it's a Gemara. Gemara thing. The Gemara is saying that what? If a person does, then Memele what? If a person sleeps in a room with a couple. He's taking since... away the timing from the lady. That's it? Correct. Is Ivor Correct. Is Ivor on a Pasuk? What is it? Yes, Ivor... yes. Uh, Ivor on a Pasuk. Isn't the type of the Pasuk that you're driving, the Abish is saying you're driving me away. Just like uh, you drive them away from each other, you're driving me away from Pali as well. Is that the way it is? I thought it was the, not the nashim of my of my nation. You're you're chasing them from the from base Tainuk, from the house of their I'm enjoyment. Man, I'm you're taking away my covet from the world. I hear what uh, is that what it means? Well, there's a there's a final write it down somewhere or no you... no no. I heard this from somebody. I don't remember from who. So again, it's not necessarily Did accurate. You try or not. To find that. Do you remember? Can you find I that? could try and ask his son or something if it's true, but I, I don't know how I'm going to get through that. I'm, I'm not going to call him and ask him, but it's a. Uh, but it's uh, um, It's interesting. Well, what about the men? What about the man? Why is it only a problem to the woman? What about the man? What do you mean? Why isn't a tiny for the man? Okay, we're What about the man as the chiv? The woman is the. True, that's true. So it probably has something to do with that. With the Chiyav, I know. Why, the why was it less embarrassing back then if they wore different clothes when they were in Nida? Oh, you want to hear that, Tyra? That has nothing to do with the Duff. Anybody could. No, I'm just curious. I, you said I that. understand. The Yaakov I understand. Tomorrow yeah. morning, when, when we learning. Uh, yeah, the le, Chaira. Uh, but davening is official. I don't even know this. We're trying to get a 715 outdoor, and we're trying to get a 925. 
It's going to be raining. Probably at nine o'clock. Five to nine, whatever. Yeah. Everything's yeah. cold. Um, what Nathalie, about Mincha? Yeah, I'm here. Mincha, I don't know. But Mincha, it's Mincha, supposed to rain like all The problem is it's going to be raining all day. I, I believe that the reason is, is because back then, it was, it was a pasha to thing. Men lived together with their wives. There's nothing to be a busha about. You see in many, many cases throughout Shulchan Aruch, the kids knew when the mother went to mikvah. And the women wore, so, so what? So you need to, we look at, because we look at relations, unfortunately, that it's a, a novella and it's a, not a nice thing. And that, you know what? Well, we got to have Purubu, so we allow it. That's not what it is. It's a beautiful thing. And it's a mitzvah. And it's not novella. It's just because of our warped, whatever. It's a ganzer schmooze. We'll schmooze society, about it next time. Society, you don't have to hear society. Mr. Yuck with my whole law. It's because it's a society. It's a because Christian of society. Yes, yeah, society looks down Christ on it. Which is, you're right. About look Christians. Down on it. Right, Christians look down on it. And this you, whole... The Spartan, the Spartan, even until today, the wives and the daughters know that the wife's going to the mikvah. Yeah, so that's the way, that's the way it was. All right, yeah. guys. All right, everybody. Uh, good tonight. The good that parents is going to announce when he's making chasen tyra or kiddush. Yes, there you go. <laughs> oh, so Rabbi Stein, I have a question. Was it an issue that I was eating in my sukkah before? Uh, the only reason I was there is because it was the only quiet place to go. What tonight? Yeah. No, you're already fine. It's only the day. Oh, isn't it? Is it about if your if your sukkah is kosher? Not tonight. Why not tonight? No, but you already no because you already before had a day. Anymore. If you ate January, if you eat perm suit in your sukkah, you arrive about Tysif? Maybe. Okay, good. So maybe <laughs> that's why you're you're the poster boy for all of the shines to Yaakov. Yeah. <laughs> is there is there gonna be a minion tomorrow or not? Shach is I have not heard back from my brother, so we're only stuck at eight. If anybody wants to dive in seven fifteen, give a holler. Um I the Vilo doctor, I haven't heard that anybody signed up for this. But uh, so I can't imagine there's going to be. How about a couple, get a couple of policemen. There's probably some Jewish policemen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll get the guys that put the fines on those shows of Brooklyn. Yeah. Get the guys to the 45. They'll come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 